After years of disruptions, these high school students write their final year examinations. Six years ago, most of them were either in displaced persons camps or on the streets with little hope of completing high school. They were forced from schools like these, attacked and damaged by the armed group Boko Haram, whose ideology is to fight Western education and influences. Schooling became completely impossible, even within Meduguri as of that time, because most of the infrastructure of schools have become camps. Then we had to roll in, at that time, what was called education under emergency. Gradually, we emerged out of the emergency phase, and now we are walking towards the stabilization phase. It's a challenge. So much of our infrastructure has been destroyed. You know, once it becomes a disaster, it exceeds our coping capacity. This is now the face of schools in northern Nigeria's Borno state, the epicenter of the conflict. Old structures rehabilitated and new ones constructed. Dozens of story buildings like this have been built to absorb as many out-of-school children as possible. Still, tens of thousands more are unable to access education. The government is unable to construct or rehabilitate schools in areas where there are significant threats from Boko Haram. School enrollment is up, but the figure is nowhere near what it was before the conflict began. The United Nations Children's Fund says more than a million children were targeted for enrollment in the first four months of this year, but less than half that number were able to attend class because of the lack of facilities and security concerns. Experts want the Nigerian government to prioritize safety. Security of those words or children that are to be enrolled, that's the most important thing, that their sh security should be guaranteed and that of their teachers. You can't just give education to those in the urban areas, neglecting those in the rural areas. So those in the rural areas are now afraid of going back because they are not certain. They are not assured of their security. With many schools in Nigeria's north classified as vulnerable to attacks by armed groups, some parents here in Borno worry about putting the lives of their children at risk. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Maiduguri, Nigeria.